What do, you, what do you plan on doing now? What's your future? Well, plan? actually, uh, I have a, another uh, public project that I'm working on for a new park in Lawndale. And this is part of the pieces for... Oh, uh, for, oh that's it's a new, pretty. It's a new public park. And with the idea here is that they're going to have these niches in the wall that the kids can crawl up into. <laughs> so I'm thinking it, what, my idea is that there's a flower inside the niche, and then the outside of the wall... I'm hoping to kind of uh, do like a waterfall kind of thing. You know, we'll see how successful I am. Oh, wow. This is great work. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I like your sunrise and the sunset, right? Over right. There. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, what motivated you? What got you into doing this? The ceramics? Well, I've always been in art. You know, I'm, I was the kid in grade school that painted the backdrops for the school play, you know. Uh, and then, like I say, I was in graphic design, catalogs, brochures, logo designs, and uh, I had a, a home back in Wisconsin, that's where I'm originally from, where I built a platform and I wanted to tile it. All the tile I liked was extremely expensive, so it's kind of like, you know what, I'm going to make my own. Uh, so I took a couple of night classes and started getting into it, and, uh, but I've always liked ceramics. My, my parents are immigrants. So we would go back to, to Hungary, that's where they're from, and uh, so I was always into the folk art and, and the ceramics and, and things like that. So, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, what, what could you say to someone who wants to start in ceramics? Is it good to get a kiln first, or <laughs> what would you say to them? I mean... Uh, well, <laughs> the arts are uh, a lifestyle. They're not necessarily a living. It's a great lifestyle. So you have to really make sure that you're going to probably sacrifice a few things to be to do your art. You know, you're not going to be getting a new car anytime soon. Which, you know, if you're not about that, that's fine. You know, but uh, uh, probably just taking some classes and learning kind of some of the basic things about the clay. It's by no means, you know, there's not many mysteries to it. Just get in there and get your hands dirty. Great, fantastic. Do you have a website? Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. Action film of the installation. You might oh. have fun, uh, fun to see it. Great. Because uh, it took me about uh, three months to do the installation. Oh, we have to hide? Lawrence Bryant, and I am a ceramist here at Studio 1317. And I work in all different aspects of clay. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing it almost all my life. I was a hairdresser for over 20 years, and then I went into clay after my wife said, it's time for you to take your art back on. So here I am, and I've been at the studio here for about five years. That's great. Now, um, what can you give to people who want to get in, into clay? What kind of advice can you give them? Let's see. The advice would be just take your time and um, encourage the clay rather than to try to force it. Because it's a medium that just takes encouragement to make it happen. Do you have a website? or? I'm on Facebook under Larry Bryant, the Creator's Clay. Yes, I am. Right. Okay. 
Is this right here? Yeah, this is just when I started today. And it's uh, oh, nice. uh, you know, a female figure. Like the hips up. information about you? Like a Facebook or Twitter? Um, I have a website. If you Google my name, Mark Mulgar, um, dot com. I have, a, I have a lot more work there. And I'm uh, on Facebook too. And this building, the you know, Artist Venture, has a website too. So what's the website? Um, that is waveartist.org. Take down the song and talk. Uh, like 
like the Twitter or Instagram or any social network where you can hear more of your beautiful music. Link.